Oh, when they say uh, apartments are coming up, what does that tell you? What, what does that tell you? Hey, Jack. We start drilling first thing in the morning, about 7 a.m. <laughs> so I should get to bed early if I were you. <laughs> I don't know what this country's coming to. Everywhere you turn, there's an ignog. Bloody no, there's another one. You see, I've always said, once you let one in, they'll all come in and take the country. Thy neighbor walk up and say, How be ya? Gee, but I'm glad to see your pal. How's tricks? What's new? Love thy neighbor. Okay, welcome to the special edition of Love Thy Neighbor. This is the um, tribute to Jack Smithhurst, as I uh, promised, and um, I, th I felt this is more important than anything else. Um, and this is just a tribute because, uh, as you know, he passed away um, just over a year ago, and um, his last TV series, I believe, was uh, The Love Thine Open. We've come a long way. This is a this is a special edition, and I really don't know what's going on down here. But I'm not liking this, I, not one bit. And I know if I brought Jack Smithers down here right now, old Eddie Booth, I know what he's going to say. I know what he's going to say. He's going to say this is all bullshit. What the hell is going on down here? All these people, all these units going up. This is uh, this has been here for a while. But I'm right now. I'm near the RSL club, which I believe they made some really recordings. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give these people some hell. I think I am. I, I think I'm gonna give these people some hell because uh, something's going on around here. Look, some work going on around here, all over the place. And I think they've not really have, as I've discussed with you before. I think they really have knocked this building down. It looks to me they have. Look at this. Let me just check this out and I'll ask what's going on because uh, it's not looking good. Because I really wanted, I really wanted to get inside the um, inside the club. I mean, it's a bit difficult, isn't it, to do that? It's a bit difficult to get into the club. And um, as you heard those phone calls, I hope you had a good listen. Um, some uh, there was a couple of them, a couple of the phone calls that I made um, that were like test calls, um, and um, I did uh, one test call, um, and I found that that to be um, a, a pretty decent call uh, to you know like um, to try and ask permission and things like that uh, from. Um, an actor or actress to see if uh, we can get an interview happening. So, um, tried my best, and um, whether that can happen uh, down along the track, it'll be good. Uh, be good to see Russell up there uh, <laughs> as well. And um, I've done some um, uh, looking into Russell this week to find out where. He's been um, performing. He's been performing at Penrith, out west, Sydney, and um, it might be a little bit hard to get hold of these people. I actually thought maybe he lived at the Blue Mountains because he did a lot of uh, theatres out west. So I thought maybe he did he did something um, Blue Mountains way or lived out there well, that way. I, that I don't know. But we're here now at the where they filmed 
I believe they filmed at the, um, the RSL club. I don't want it to get too dark, so let's have a look at see what's going on. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna give these people some hell. I'm gonna I really am. I've got a question actually, this excavation area, Yeah. well what's actually happening around here? Uh, they're putting in um, some water pipes. Ah, oh, okay. Where's the um, club, wasn't the club around here? Yeah, there was, it was not here. It was just in that yeah. corner, the, the really big building. I don't know, but I know everyone keeps telling me there was a club here. There was the main RSL club. Oh, was it? Yeah. Now yeah, the main one's Auburn. Auburn there's, there's the other one, I think there's a new one across the road, yeah? The new one across the road. Here? No, here, yeah. Yeah, that must have been the, the, big, the big building. I don't know, because when, oh, I, when I started working here, the demolition was already yeah, demolition done. Demolition start, they started already. Yeah, yeah. I've heard about it. Yeah. Oh, sorry to yeah. trouble you. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to trouble you. Yeah. Around here? No, more Blacktown Bay. Oh, okay. But I had been in, in this area a few times. And, uh, what nationality are you? Turkish. Oh, but your accent? I was born in London. Oh, yeah. there you go. I've been here for a long time. Oh, wow, you still got the London <laughs> accent. I think so. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's the, yeah, okay. That must be it. Yeah, that's definitely. Am I allowed to go around there and just film a little bit? Just a little bit around Yeah, yeah, there? just don't go in. No, no, I won't go in. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Okay, I can't believe that was a very really big building that was there. Yeah, they're, sure. they're going to build units here, 400. Don't tell me. As soon as we're pretty much finished, I think they'll probably get started with that. Yeah. Once we clean all that up. Oh god. Yeah. Because there's more units. It's all just units of winner. It's all happening. Yeah, like it's crazy here with fucking traffic. Imagine once people live in there, people live in those ones and another four hundred units go up. If that wanted to happen. Right, that there. Yeah. We'll be able to get around. Okay, here's the, where the club was, on Northumberland Road, like I mentioned, and uh, this is where the club was. Okay, so I spoke to the, um, uh, the she's a, like a traffic coordinator, and I, when she spoke there's a few F words in there, so, <laughs> um, so I can't really put that on, on the thing. I'd love to put it there, but I'd, actually, I'm, to be honest, um, I really wanted to record it and um, I was holding my camera up so you can s see what's going on but then I didn't press the button that's that is come on look I'll go over there in a minute I'll go back to her and I'll talk to her in a minute because she knows this is all bullshit all this stuff that's going on look at this this is where the, this is where it was we just lost a good club We just lost the club, everyone. driven past here a few times and I did go in once. There it is. I mean yeah when you do a search when you do a search on this club or the, the ex RSL club Auburn RSL club 
Yeah, what, one or two comments saying, oh, the food is not good. Oh, so what? It's one person. It's one person making a comment. That one person doesn't matter out of everybody else. No one else made a comment, just one person. Yeah. And that, did that make a difference? What, they want to knock it down? Because um, either they didn't make enough money or uh, the food wasn't nice. Nah. That's that's not that's not the thing. That's not the thing. No, I had a really good think about that. Why did one person make a comment, like as if it was put there on purpose? I don't think they had good. They had food. They had food there, and it was pretty decent from from my memory when I went here before years ago. When they say uh, apartments are coming up, what does that tell you? What, what does that tell you? Hey, Jack. What does that tell you? It's, it has happened. Like, all this, all, all of these renovations and all these knockdowns have been, knock, I'm talking about knock, knocking downs, have been happening since um, about a year and a half, one year ago, one year and a half. It's all been happening within the past year or so. And I've just completely missed it all. And I've missed, the, like, when the building was here. I, like, I, obviously, I couldn't get access to the building. They wouldn't let me do that anymore. I'm sure about that. You'd have to have a hard hat or something. And I did read some comments somewhere where they said, oh, it's pretty much falling apart. Well, not falling apart, but they pulled it apart, haven't they? That's the Auburn RSL club. It was. Uh, so I made a yeah I made a couple of errors in my phone calls uh, when I rang the council. There's a barbecue. Right? <laughs> Little barbecue. Made a couple of errors in my um, conversation. Um, RSL is you know uh, it's like a what they call an ex services league for the it's for the elderly. This this is made for the elderly. It's funded by them. Um, it's, it's all specially funded by the, by the people. It's not owned by a council or anything like that. So I was, I was wrong, us ringing the council. But I rang the council because um, the council are kind of, they, it's, it's part of, I'd say it's on, you know, they own the land, would they? Would you say they own the land, the council? So I rang them to see, you know, what's, what's happening. Yeah, so you heard the conversations. They they're saying that it's either closed or it's been or it's already been knocked down. So they knew already, and even across the road, the other uh, the new club, they said they they said too that um, you know, the thing's been knocked down. So there it is. That's the bad news. That's the really bad news. Man. I've just got to sit here a few minutes and just think about it. I'm really going to sit here for a few minutes. Not sit down, but just...
could see where the club started. And they dug up all these pipes down there. So it took up um, quite a large portion of the road. So it started here. There you go. Look, this is it, everyone. If you want to see um, the Auburn RSL Club, this is what it is now. It's gone. Let's take a walk. Goodbye, RSL Club. You can see the unsafe areas, so you're not allowed to walk there. So that's why they've all blocked, they put all this fence around it and they blocked it off. And you can see the fence online as well. Same thing. They must have just made it bigger. So we can't go in there at all. I can't believe what they did to it. Yeah. They screwed it up and it. Yeah. There you go. Here it is. Okay, that's the bad news. That's the bad news that the club is gone. Where it uh, catered for so many thousands of people. Always busy. Just the noise of traffic coming. 
coming through now, this is it. Without me getting killed, <laughs> I'm going to cross the road now. That's the bad news, that that's gone completely. Should have bought my broomstick. I might do that next time actually, it's not a bad idea. Who wants to pay 200 or 300 bucks just for a little uh, monopod, whatever they call it. Funny name for it. <laughs> anyway, that's the club, the way it was. That's where it was. Yeah, that's where it was. building being taken down and um, like I said catered for a lot of people completely gone now what have you got high-rise buildings for what who knows migrants yeah. hi Where did that come from? <laughs> That's exactly my point. Exactly my point. Because uh, in the past few days I've been hearing, oh, it's just a load of rubbish, you know, more rubbish, like everything else <laughs> that you hear every every day. And it was, oh, oh what was it about? Uh, six, six hundred, and they always say funny numbers, don't they? Six hundred and fifty, thousand or I don't know is it a thousand or a million some funny figure plucked out of someone's brains <laughs> and then um, oh yeah so there was a DVD shop down here before yeah I used to get some DVDs from here uh, watch some movies and things this is where I used to come and then the club is over there so I think a couple of times I did it's just across the road there see that's where where the club was see So yeah, I think someone's um, plucked a number from their brains. Let's see if I can get down there. I'll go over there and show you. Someone's plucked this number from their brains and then um, said, oh yeah, there's that many people coming out within the next year or something like that. Oh, well, good luck. Yeah. Do we want that many? Nah. No, we don't. So I mean, I can. I don't want to walk in there because I'm not allowed to go in there. This is a, probably another place I'll probably get arrested at. Yeah, hang on. This is a, probably a better angle. So if I show you exactly the building, uh, is, it was a huge building. I mean, you can see it on the, on the internet there and my pictures. Just have a look at my pictures. Yeah, there it goes. There it is there. <laughs> split view, split head. <laughs> I'll, I'll split myself up uh, and hang on. I'll do it this way. Mm. Okay, uh, hang on, just turn it there you go. I'll have a split lip in a minute. <laughs> That's where it all was, everyone. Once again, Auburn RSL Club gone. After so many years, I need to look at how many years they'd been there. You know, um, it's sad to see it's gone. And it's sad because um, not only, as I said, uh, the food and everything else, and um, you know everyone played those poker machines and had some good good times in there you, you would have had bands and things in there um, you need to s really do some searching to find some comments about what happened in there you know who came there what bands played here it's completely gone now it's it's a goodbye it's a goodbye from 
from this place here. Sad to see it go. I've spoken to the traffic uh, woman. She's okay with me coming uh, uh, just past here. So that's it. And there's a, then there's a little park just over there, a little place. If there should be a beautiful girl next door Say to the girl next door Don't think I'm bold, my mother told me 